If you have not sorted the leaking problem, nothing you do is going to help you. here i hope you are doing great and having a lovely week so far and staying warm because that's very important welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is muthoni i create diy decor and home improvement content <laughs> over on this channel i hope you are going to enjoy yourself here if you are returning thank you for coming through as always a week ago i had asked you to send me some of the questions um some photos with the problems that you have in your house that you need fixing. This is not about home decor and interior design aspect. This is literally just problems that need solving in your household. So we are going to delve into that right now. And I hope that I am going to be helpful and you will be able to fix whatever problems you are facing by yourself because you're dope people. I want to remove my curtain box and replace the area with rods without ruining the box. Is it possible and how? So yes, it's possible to remove your curtain box. It's all dependent on, like the method you will use is dependent on how your curtain box was installed. Point is your curtain box is attached to your wall. So it's either attached using screws or it's attached using um, nails. So if it's using nails, I'd say be very careful when you're removing it because nails can easily chip the wall. If it's screws, just unscrew them and remove the box. And then you can even use the same holes as if it has screws for your cutting rods. But um, for your cutting rods, you will definitely have to drill into your wall because the cutting rod thingies the things that hold them up they often are screwed into the wall i have this drawer that wouldn't slide open visually actually every time it refuses to close i feel like breaking it <laughs> i'm sorry about that so you didn't send a photo so we're going to have to use our imagination here so if it has drawer rails it could be that they are rusting because of moisture or water or something around that so you can remove the draw all the way out remove using the rails depending on the ones you have they usually have a thingy on the side that you can press down and you pull out and then use some oil even cooking oil apply on both sides of the rails the ones that are on the insides and the ones on the on the drawer and then slide it in have them run a couple of times and then wait and see if that's going to work if not the other option would be just buying drawer rails different ones if those ones have a problem and replace them and if it doesn't have rails already you can choose to invest in some rails the cool thing is you can get rails for i think as cheap as 200 shillings you can get some drawer rails i'm sorry that your drawer is giving you such a hard time um, how can I remove the gum stain on the wall? I've tried painting, but it's still visible. Please help. Check photo above. Let's check the photo. Photo above. The photo is refusing to open. No, for real, the photo has refused to open. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Um. I'm assuming it's gum gum chewing gum or it could be glue from it could be glue <laughs> it's refusing I don't know why let me try open it again okay so two options you can go hot or cold so cold is you can take um, both you'll need a sharp object like a knife or a razor then if you're going cold you'll take because it depends if it's thick i say go cold if it's not thick i might say go hot so <laughs> this makes no sense let me explain take ice cubes and like wrap them on like uh something that is smooth it could be um what are the, like a ziploc bag and then run it on the gum because if it's gum it it will make it harden and then use like the sharp object to slide it underneath and pop it because now it's going to be very dry very hard the other option is take 
a blow dryer a hot blow dryer because now that's going hot get a blow dryer and blow on the thingy on the the heat side when it's getting hot and then as you blow scrape it because it's gonna now that's gonna loosen it up and then after that sand it down because that's option number three you have to sand 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 because even if you you paint over it the glue because it's 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 like a texture on top of your paint so you can choose to really sand it down you can also go cold and sand it down so you can run an ice cube and then sand 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 until it's completely smoothed out i hope that's helpful because i didn't get to see the photo it honestly refused to show i don't know why i opened my sink drainage a couple of months ago and now it stinks when neighbors drain water i had opened it to remove dirt but now it stinks can you help you might need to get a plumber but one of the things that i do to always make sure that my sink drainage is working visually even when you feel like if it has dirt me if i feel like it has dirt and i feel like maybe it's something more sticky i call a plumber because they usually come with a certain pipe and then they use that to chokora so they either push the stuff out or pull it back and remove it when that's not the option like on a, on random basis what i do is i pour baking soda on the the whole thingy and pour hot water it really drains everything out you can try that it might also help with the smell okay so this is me and my curtain box my window is big and curved i've always loved rods as they save on time oh from like when you're putting hooks yes they save on time also i like that you have a carved window carved windows are very cool so if i were you this is what i would do you might have to get um you might have to get a custom made rod i don't know if it's possible to buy carved rods but i think they probably exist because a lot of because carved windows are a thing so you might find get an ini a carved rod and then make like a, a window seat i think that would be very very cool if that's the kind of space i had so yes you can get curtain rods my countertop is a mess it has small dents here and there i have thought of using contact paper but i'm afraid those dents will show up underneath they will um because anything that's like on your when you're using contact paper anything that is on the surface you're covering will show so my suggestion would be you can try mixing kidogo cement and then just fill up all the dents just a bit of cement fill up the dents visually and then sand it down until they're smooth wipe with a cloth a wet cloth wait for that to dry and then now put your contact paper that way when you need it smooth you won't have any bumps because you want to avoid bumps and you won't have any dents either you can choose to do contact paper underneath what do i do oh, okay so this one's a mini what do i do to avoid paint chips those are stickers so when the glue wears off they come out with the wall paint that's actually i think it's whatever you're using on the sticker they're pretty heavy or when you try to pull because the glue isn't if the glue is coming off with the wall that means the glue isn't wearing off it means if you're placing something on it the 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 paint is on that's peeling off so um do i need to re do i need to repaint the whole wall because they look untidy so what you'll need to do is you will have to first remove any loose paint around the places that the paint has already peeled off you can use a scraper just scrape 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 and then you're going to use filler add the filler in there let it dry then sand that down and then now paint over it you can paint you can choose to paint the whole wall if you're interested in doing that if you have a lot of them but you can also just uh, paint over the sections that have the problem but then you'll have to at least blend it out because the problem sometimes is um you will be able to see that this section has new paint and this one does not so yeah it's easy to tell hello this is a problem we are having with our with some of our ceilings in the house who my dear this is a problem problem this one you need to talk to your landlord because this looks more like water damage so it could be that the the house above you where your room is like where this particular wall is located above them there's a spot that has water 
if that could be a bathroom or they store water or if it's like the roof there's probably a tank of sorts and it's leaking that's why the water is coming through to your ceiling like this so options are one you have to scrape you'll have to scrape because if you even if you scrape and paint over it as long as the water problem is not solved you are still going to have that issue so you want the water problem to first be solved uh if it's a water problem the other option is you might have to do a thin layer of waterproof cement again that's why i'm saying talk to your landlord you shouldn't be the one having to deal with this because this is like a his house problem a her house problem and you when you move you leave it with the fix whatever so talk to them and first confirm if there's leaking water or anything like that before you even fix it oh another person with the same problem uh, but this looks more like a chipboard uh, i have had a leaky ceiling main bedroom and sitting and now this is what i see every day apart from repainting how can i sort this if you have not sorted the leaking problem nothing you do is going to help you but the sorting you have to paint there's nothing else you can do you'll have to paint when you're painting make sure you use um a primer first and then now your paint color you don't have an option my dear poly but you'll have to paint because the other option is replacing the ceiling boards and i don't think you want to do that and even if you do that you'll still have to paint them <laughs> my coffee table got scratched and the paint came off i don't know what paint to use i asked if it's wood i needed to confirm and they said it's glass so first thing you'll do because it has the chips are spread out so there's parts of the area that are still intact you'll have to remove that that way when you're fixing you're fixing one entire area so scrape that with like a popsicle stick um toothpick um, nothing metallic you have to use use something that is is made of wood and you have an area that is all glass no paint what i've noticed is the paint is underneath so that's a win and then take a piece of cardboard uh and a spray paint and then hold it from a distance and then just spray spray evenly and nicely to cover the surface so how do i fix this ceiling scrape it because this is um confirm there's no water damage above you yeah just confirm that and then just scrape it with a scraper uh if it has a crack because i can't tell if this is a crack or if it's just the paint that's peeling off because it, it looks more like the paint is peeling off so if it has a uh again what's it called a crack use filler first then sand that down and then paint over it if there are no cracks then just scrape it down prime because i can still see I can also see a bit of cement or like the baseboard itself so scrape it down sand it visually to make it smooth wipe uh, prime then paint remove curtain boxes to the rods and the fundi left the paintwork halfway how do i complete it not sure if he applied if what he applied was a base coat or what uh, first you need to sand um because i see it has bumps um i can see bumps on like one section and i'm not even sure what happened there this section zuku that look like the steel holes fill that up with filler just add a bit of filler filler you can just buy filler is not expensive go to a hardware and say you want filler you usually mix it with water add that uko let it dry sand it down sand everything down then prime it use just a bit of primer the base coat that's what it's called that's what primer is it's a base coat um then you can paint uh, your kaida paint you don't even have to prime this one per se because it's already white and the color on your wall is already it's on on the darker side so you wouldn't need to you don't necessarily have to prime just make sure after you sand it down you wipe it wipe the surface and then you should be fine paint with a brush and a roller use a small roller to just go across it like this and make sure you remove your rods when you're doing that this is my ceiling made from some chalk like substance that crumbles when you exert any pressure like using a paintbrush is there any other alternative to fixing this part from this apart from painting thank you in advance so it looks like it's a textured textured ceiling 
okay so this is those popcorn type ones so they've tried to add some texture which explains the crumbliness uh i'm not sure what the problem is because i don't know what part you want to fix because i'm seeing one your ceiling has multiple colors there's the pink and there's the white but i'm not seeing a ceiling problem so why are you using a brush are you painting i'm not sure because you haven't said because i don't see any part of it that's like broken or anything but in case like there's a section of it that needs to be fixed you have to remove it with a scraper so just use a scraper to remove the part that's like that fix it if you needed to paint paint and then add the filler again and use like a sponge where when it's still wet and wet put the the sponge and then pull so that it forms the the peaks that it already has to retain the look i think we're done yeah yes oh that was the last question was it yes that was the last question so yay i hope that i was able to help you with the problems that you're experiencing and you if you also didn't manage to send in a question and you saw something there that's also troubling you i hope i was able to assist with that thank you so much for watching this video and remember if you have not subscribed yet and you want to be a part of our diy fam just click on the huge subscribe button that's just uh, it's just red and it's written subscribe and then when you click on it it turns gray that means you've subscribed uh, leave a comment down below and tell me if you experienced any of the problems if you've solved any of the problems for yourself before um, switch on your notifications that way you are notified every single time I upload a new video that's the video I have today I will see you in my next video enjoy the rest of your week and I hope to see you on our other channel on Thursday bye <laughs> have a great great week